Welcome back. So in previous video, we saw how to make uh, the bucket public, uh, but we came into we ran into a problem that is that even though uh, we made the bucket public uh, publicly accessible, our objects were still not publicly accessible, and we're gonna try to tackle that problem today. Uh, so let's see. Let's go and I'm gonna show you the problem in action uh, right now. This indexed it. Uh, HTML if I click over here I cannot access it but I can go back and I can through the actions I can make this public now even the, oh, I got the green exit and this index file has a link to this file so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna try to open this my index uh, 404 and I ran again ran into that thing so you now you are you have an idea of what I'm talking about that uh, I have made the bucket tech public accessible I've made that object uh, publicly accessible but uh, whatever is depending on them if we have not gone and make those changes to all of our files we can or we or the user will still run into this problem so for that basically i found it uh, under websites but you have to run this code and i'm going to show you where to do that first let's copy this the whole code copy and we are going into our bucket information uh, uh, bucket properties so if we go to bucket info and we're going into i believe permissions Okay, we, we, we will come back for this uh, uh, versioning. So let's go here. Now we see that we know that we have uh, uh, turned this off. So our bucket is publicly accessible. We have a bucket policy and we need to uh, run the that JSON, JavaScript uh, object uh, something uh, in here, right there, JSON. So we're gonna add it, we're gonna paste it here now this is for you can see public read get object so we are making the whole bucket and everything inside it as publicly accessible doesn't matter when it was uploaded or when it will be uploaded like either before or after we make the whole bucket publicly accessible so we have to make only just one change and that is to change this ARN to our bucket information and um, uh, the good thing about AWS is so it the good thing is AWS puts it right in front of us uh, for easy easier so we're gonna remove everything that's in here except for that forward slash static so we're gonna remove this part you can see that I left this uh, forward slash and static there I'm gonna paste this thing right before the forward slash and static and I'm gonna save it now if I save it so it says successfully edited bucket policy the whole policy has been updated now you can see under my bucket name it says now it's fully publicly really publicly accessible the access has been changed to public now while before it wasn't uh, you can just go back uh, maybe a couple of minutes and in this video you can see that it wasn't here now we're gonna go to objects again you know that I haven't touched this file yet uh, I'm gonna open my index HTML and see what happens I'm going to my index HTML file you can see that uh, this is the same page I'm gonna just for you I'm gonna refresh it and I'm gonna click on 404 and if this has worked I will see actually my 404 page that will actually say not found and you can see not found so that's how you make a policy or a public pol accessible policy for the whole s3 bucket if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one